Hi, welcome to Sapima Tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at change of subject formula. All right, we will start from the simple to the complex to consider how we make a variable change of subject formula. And we must know that given an equation like this, the leading variable is what we call the subject dependent variable. This variable is dependent on the values of these variables to get its own value. All right, so the subject is always the dependent variable. So when you're asked to make a particular variable the subject, it means making that particular subject the leading variable. So we find a way to manipulate and operate to bring it out to stay alone. All right, so in this problem, we'll be looking for R, making R the subject formula. In the second one, making X the subject. Here we'll be making X also the subject. Here we'll be making R, capital letter R, the subject and after this four we will solve another two that are complex involving square root fractions and others are uh, in a different video so you check for it in my channel starting with this one i have a equal to pi r plus b we want to make this small letter r subject all right so to solve such a problem the first thing you consider is your addition and subtraction sign you carry every every variable that is connected to this r by means of plus or minus carry it across the equality sign so if i do that i'll have a minus b because b is positive here it becomes negative here equal to pi r now these two variables are held together by multiplication to remove that we divide by that variable the coefficient of the subject we are looking for so that pi will cancel pi here i will have r to be equal to a minus b over pi all right so the first thing you do is to consider addition and subtraction carry it across then whenever you have multiplication use the variable to divide both sides on the second one i have a equal to b into x minus k now I have subtraction, but I will not carry k across the equality sign because it is inside bracket bounded by this b. So the first thing I will do is to open my bracket. I will have b x times b times x is b x minus b k. Because we are looking for x, we are going to remove everything around x. First of all, we consider subtraction. So we will carry this one across the equality sign. Therefore, we have a plus b k. It is negative here when it crosses it becomes positive equal to bx now bx is a multiplication therefore we divide by b all right here we cancel b i'll have x to be equal to a plus bk over b now i have b here in the numerator and b here this b will not cancel this b because it is associated with this a so all I will do is to separate them because they are common denominators. Common denominators. So at this point, we are at liberty to cancel this and this. So I'll have my x to be equal to a over b plus k. The coefficient has cancelled by, by the denominator. Now let's consider the third one. We have y equal to x minus k all over x plus k. Okay, and then we are looking for x. Whenever you have a fraction, what you should do is to um, cross multiply or use the denominator, the inverse or reciprocal of the denominator to multiply both sides. But in this case, it is easier to cross multiply. So I'll cross multiply. Here we multiply here, I'll have y into x plus k equal to x minus k. Then we open the bracket. Recall, remember that we are making x the subject. So anything we will do to make x stay alone, do that. Opening bracket, I'll have yx, then yk equal to x minus k. We are looking for x. So let's bring these two x together. I'll be having um, yk plus k, carrying this k across here, equal to x minus k y x this y x has crossed over to meet the brother therefore factorize here i will have k 
into y plus 1. k is common here. I'll bring 1 outside. k times y will give me yk. Then k times 1 will give me k. Equal to factorize here also, x will come out. x had already come out here, so 1 when x times 1 will give me x minus y. Alright, x times y gives me back this. Now, because we are looking for x, 1 minus y is a coefficient to the x we are looking for. Now, to remove it, we use it to, to divide both sides. Alright, so that this one can be cancelled by this one. We now have x remaining. So, I'll have x to be equal to k into y plus 1 over 1 minus y. Please take note that this y cannot cancel this y because there's addition and there's subtraction, which is not a common denominator. So in the fourth one, the next, the first thing we do is to carry y across because it is connected to this guy by subtraction. So we carry it across. Then I'll have b minus y equal to minus r, this one is r over r plus r, right? Then we divide both sides or multiply both sides by this denominator. Let's cross multiply. Cross multiply. We have E minus R and then R plus capital letter R equal to minus R R. Alright? Then to bring this R out, we expand this bracket. I'll be having E R, let's multiply this two plus E times R, give me E R. Minus Y times R, give me minus Y R minus y times r minus y r equal to minus r r. I have r to be common here. I'll bring one r outside and then I'll have e minus y plus r to be equal to r is also common here. One will come outside into y minus e. Because we are looking for r, this capital letter R, we divide both sides by its coefficient, which is this bracket. So I'll have this to divide here, so it should cancel here. Right. So I'll have R to be equal to R into Y minus E all over E minus Y plus R. And this becomes our answer. Alright, so we consider two more problems that are more complex than this one that have to do with um, square roots and fractions, complex problems. And that will be in a different video. Too. Thank you for coming on board. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do that and share my contacts to your friends on your social medias. Thank you very much.